Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone is doing very well. So in this video, what I wanted to do is jump on something that I don't normally check out, which is project management applications. I actually do want to check out more project management applications just because they're obviously a fundamental part of productivity. And I feel like a lot of you guys are involved in teams. I get a lot of emails saying that you sort of influence the tools that your teams use. And I want to sort of help you find those resources. So, of course, most of the time I get these sort of things from recommendations, talking to people and things like that. And I think when I came across Notion, which is the app we're reviewing today, I actually discovered it when I was speaking to Alex. So when we were talking over lunch, he mentioned Notion and sort of pointed me towards that experience. Now, I thought, you know, a lot of time some of these project management applications can be pretty similar in replication just because that's the structure of a project management application. But this is sort of slightly different in terms of the way that it's designed and the way that it's used. So we're going to be reviewing Notion today. I'm going to include everything in the description. Uh, so let's get stuck in. So the experience really does remind me of like Trello with Google Docs with Dropbox Paper and they sort of had a baby and it was Notion. Uh, weirdly, it's sort of it's, it's a, like a reminder of almost like if your project management was a blog <laughs> because of the way that it's structured. So the idea of the experience is to sort of combine like three core experiences. That would be tasks, notes, and also like wikis, which is like referencing, which is quite nice because that's not many resources that bring together wikis. So as you can see, the design is super simple. I really like it. I like that it's just like plain. It's sort of like Dropbox paper in a way. Uh, the way that they've designed it uh, is is dead simple. Uh, it's it's sort of like Dropbox paper in its like uh, formatting style, but it's like Things Three in its like task finishing style, if you know what I mean. Uh, as you can see, you get a nice header um, and a sort of really nice uh, typography, beautiful abilities inside of here, everything from Markdown and stuff like that. We'll check out the individual note experience in the, in the in, in a minute. We're going to check out the individual note experience in a minute, but we're going to sort of start with this experience up here. So this is the Mac app, but it looks very similar on web. So as you can see, you get a personal, uh, which is like your own sort of Notion experience. You also get an example team where you can create and join teams, which is very cool. Obviously, this is under a paid model too, which I'll explain at the end. Um, so we're just going to jump over to the example team. Now, this is really meant to be used for teams. Uh, and as you can see, when you uh, land uh, on the team page, you land on the team home. Now, this is sort of like an intranet as well. So as you can see on the left hand side, you've got team pages. You've got a list of all of the team content that's there and they all have drop downs. So you can see here team home has office, health, reading list, uh, marketing assets, mission values and goals, roadmap, uh, task board, meeting notes, onboard, checklists so it's quite in detail so if you wanted to create your own setup you could create from scratch basically these wikis for your team so if you're onboarding a new team member they've basically got everything when they've got started which is quite nice so as you can see here I'm on the team home and let's say I want to see uh, what the office health and benefits are so I click on this one and it takes me to that page now as you can see these are really simple it's got a lovely cover photo which is nice a nice emoji to land on. Uh, I believe you can modify that. Yes, you can. Or you can upload your own emoji, which is quite nice. Uh, so you can obviously, uh, as your manager or someone like that, you can create these pages from scratch. Uh, I like that you can have frequently asked questions at the top, so that's a nice modification. And of course, adding items is pretty easy to things straight away, uh, so you can do that. So uh, you, I've just removed that one. But as you can see, you can write in Markdown, which is nice. So Markdown is a, a formatting of text. Uh, allowing you to sort of uh, add in these sort of figures and also things like PDFs and uh, headers and things like that. So as you can see, there's actually a PDF embedded in here and you can actually uh, view that one as well and comment on it, uh, delete it, duplicate it. You can actually click in and see that and it will take you to the web version, uh, which is, I think it's stored on an AWS. So as you can see, it'll bring you to that one there. Um, it's just, just a form. Uh, there's also links as well. So once you add a link, um, you know, you can click in and actually go to that link and also find all of the uh, information there. So it's, it's really nice. Like I think you'll be able to get 
are a nice template when you get started. You get this example team one. So when you actually create the team, I believe there are templates for you to go off. So you might not have to like follow all this, but you can modify some of the pages. So as you can see, it's all available here. You can actually quickly add a page inside of there. So if I were to click add a page inside of uh, what's our Wi-Fi password, okay. You can add any of the regular ones. So default notes, drafts and empty if you want to. Uh, you can add a task board, roadmap, agenda, notes, guides. You know, there's quite a few here uh, of the sort of template side of stuff. And if you just want to keep to your personal notes, that's quite cool. Weekly agenda, travel to read and things like that. Uh, you can. So there's an ability to create stuff in here. So if I just go back to this one, if I open this one up, you can see that United was added here. So I could go into that anytime I want and it would take me to that new page, which I didn't create. Uh, but see, pages seem to be pretty simple to do it. So let me just demo and put a task board for the Wi-Fi then. And as you can see, it's sort of, this is why I was mentioning Trello. It opens up as like this task board where you can add items. Uh, you can add to do in progress and done. So they've got these nice templates. You can create these templates from scratch. Uh, you can create these areas from scratch. So you can actually modify this to your own design. So it's very flexible and very functional, which I quite like about this. Now, as you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to get started with. All you have to do is add these to-dos and they and they start getting there. And you can even add a slash to add a, like, like it could be anything. Like, it could be a bit of content. Um, you can get absolutely anything from text all the way down to headers, code, uh, tweets, Google Drive, you know. All you have to type in slash and everything's come down. So if you just want to, like, filter that one out and add, like, a type to filter to quickly get to that. So it's not too hard to find stuff uh, at a glance. I was a bit worried about that. I like as well, once you've had archive, you can go to the done section and all completed items will be there. So it's a very, very cool experience here. I like this. Um, so as you can imagine, uh, that's a sort of design when it comes to the team. You can also apply it to different areas. So they've got their own task board, but if you wanted roadmap, you can see that that's quite cool. You get the ideas next up in progress completed. It's quite nice. Um, and then you've got things like meeting notes. So this is an area where you can tally up which meetings you had. So let's say I've, I'm going to add a meeting. Um, so I'm going to call it uh, you know, meeting with Bob. I always say that in meetings. Uh, Bob and me are the two attendees. And we're going to discuss uh, Bob's fun hairstyle. You know, these meetings, they're pretty hard to attend to. And notes, you can add all of those notes to the bottom, which is quite nice. And as soon as you come out of that, Bob, meeting with Bob is, you know, on that, including the launch information and stuff like that. So you can quickly see that, which is quite nice. I, I really seem to like this experience um, and they seem to have done a good job with this. You've also got the likes of onboarding checklists. So if you wanted to see, uh, you know, marketing, Donnie Draper, uh, you can see all of the things that he's got to do when he's onboarding. So he hasn't learned how to do GitHub and Sketch and things like that. You can add a team page by the bottom so you can actually create your own from scratch, which is nice. Um, and I'll just pop back to the personal section a moment because you can do this, you can apply this to anything. Like this person has obviously done a travel planning one. A weekly agenda, you can apply that to uh, your to-dos, which I quite like. Um, and then you've also got a reading list. This is nice. Like the reading list was something that like took me back. Uh, you've also got uh, in the news as well. So you can add start your own things there. You can add your own notes as well and roadmap too. Now, you know, this sort of experience is very different from a lot of stuff I talk about. What I like about this is that it blends personal and a teamwork as well. Because a lot of time you, you're like, oh, I won't use this because it's team. Uh, like Asana is like a real good example. Asana is great for like if you've got three or four people. But if you're using it just by yourself, it's sort of a bit lonely because they've got all these like added team member buttons and you're like, I haven't got any team members but I know that people use it for an everyday basis. So what I quite like about this is it's got that personal and it's got that professional side of stuff. It's very easy to use and it looks really great. It look, It's very functional in its design. Now, the way that I see people using it would be for their own benefit, but also for the team's benefit. For personal, I would see people using it for planning, uh, for journaling maybe, and even for like, you, like the likes of planning for like a trip or something like that. I think that the way that you can use it is very functional, but I think that would be the core usage. For teams, I think it would be beneficial for that team wiki thing. Like there's not really a great way to onboard team members that I know of when you're starting a team, and that could be a really simple way to get started. 
So when it comes to uh, some of the more functional stuff, what I like about the, uh, the design is you've got quick finds. So if you have something specific that you've written down, so let's say I wrote down analytics, you can see that it's pulled that out and will bring me to the analytics page quite fast. So quick find works in the same way where that it works with things three and the same sort of design. And I really like that. I think that's a really nice addition. You can obviously add new pages there. There's a settings page. Um, so you can go to my profile, you can upload a profile photo. There's not really much detail there. Um, and as you can see, uh, you have zero of 300 of your personal content limit. So as you can see, I'm on the free plan at the moment. That's zero pound, that's free. Uh, I've got limited co collaborators, so I can add other people and limited amount of them. I can uh, only have 300 content blocks, which is very similar to Mealy Note. Like if I was to start typing stuff and adding things, uh, I think the content block would stop. As you can see, uh, there's a three day version history uh, and a five megabyte per file upload and also 500 Slack notifications. So if you wanted to uh, send quick messages to your teams and things like that, there's that available. So, you know, uh, what I can see here is that they've got this really like, like, for example, I don't think you would go over 300 content blocks too fast. I think if you deleted some, or actually, no, they start you off from zero. So I think if you would get started, you might find that you were close to that limit. But if you're pretty, like, frugal with your usage, I think that's cool. The next thing is pros. You've got $8 per month. Uh, that covers everything. So you get unlimited content blocks, collaborators, infinite version history, no file limit, or you can add Slack. There's, there's some benefits in there. There's some benefits for when you're adding lots of team members and things like that. Now, we wouldn't recommend this for a team that want to be able to communicate inside a tool, but have something and everything in one place, like a way to find your meeting notes, a way to find your agenda, a way to find your to-dos, a way to onboard team members. This could be quite cool. You can actually earn more meeting ones. So, for example, uh, if I were to share this one on Twitter, uh, which I'll probably include in the description below, so I can get my content blocks up. Um, you get 150 blocks for every sign up. Your friend will get 152. So if you want to sign up, you know you're going to get 150, um, and you can get unlimited blocks after six signups. Okay, that's really good. Uh, so if I get more than six people, six of you have got to get me unlimited blocks, and same everyone else. Uh, I can imagine. I will share the copy link at the end. But as you can see, I quite like this experience. You've also got a trash box uh, and you can actually find stuff in the trash box. I'm gonna just sh look at this side, side of stuff. You can publish stuff to the web. Uh, you can go to style, so you can actually, I'm just gonna move my phone here. You can actually modify like default. Uh, so you've got sans serif at the moment, but if you wanted a serif, uh, that's something you can add or a mono. I quite like the sans serif. You can have small text too or regular text. You can have default cover image only or icon only, so. You can force it to have it and full width as well. I'm not too sure I like that. I like it like that. Um, and as you can see, more version history. That's where you can, you can export different pages to PDF, which is quite nice. So if you, for example, you wanted to print out those onboarding sheets or a task list or a roadmap, you can quickly can. This is neat. Uh, you can also word count there, which is quite nice. Export as markdown, export all as markdown, which is nice. And here, this is where you can drag in certain functionality. So for example, if I wanted to drag in stuff, you're probably wondering like, where does the content creation side of stuff? So you can add in media, the basic stuff, and also embeds there. So that's quite nice. Like, and one thing that to note is that Notion actually has a, um, so you can use this offline uh, and it will sync it when you're online. So that's quite cool. Anyway, guys, I, I hope this sort of exposed a bit of a gem for you. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. I might even try it out on my personal stuff. Very similar to Mila Note in a way, but blends that sort of Dropbox paper Trello experiences. I, I really am into checking this one out a bit more. Anyway, guys, make sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you would like more content like this, add a comment in the description, I'd, uh, in, in the comments, because I'd really love to hear whether you like hearing about new resources, tools like this. So just give me uh, a message there. And also, uh, make sure to sign up to the email newsletter, which is weekly and covers productivity apps and resources. Stuff like this that I think you enjoy. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great day. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.